Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode five yeah, of our fun. of our Shogun uh, series. We're just uh, getting timers right. You know how it is. Um, now, where were we up to? Let's um, let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. Sit down, get cozy, grab a drink, rug up. Oh we yeah, we got we got some. We hope to entertain you. That's where um, we're we're in the zone. We're feeling good about Shogun and. <clears throat> to be honest, I'm really keen to get into this. It's been too long since I've had a good show gunning. Now, it's my turn, but what's the situation over here? You've just taken IO. And I'm starting to move my forces to defend against the fucking, who are these, the Tak... Takamatsu. Oh, so yeah. I'm going I'm to mount my forces at the crossroads here. Now, are you at war with them? No, I'm currently allied with them for now. But you've got units out the dicks, man. I'm looking at IO, you've got riflemen on standby, and even on your ship, you've got four lots of riflemen. You're yeah. in the zone. I'm bringing them back. Oh, dick yeah. And you've even got wooden cannons under production at your capital. Yeah. This is good. I I'm loving this. Ladies and gentlemen, and people like Party House and all you loyal subscribers, uh, drop some comments, uh, throw some thumbs up. Let's, um, I'm still working with levy infantry. Don't get me wrong, they're not bad because most of them come from here with the improved accuracy and superior armor. But the reality is that lion infantry would carve even the, the, the best. Um, I mean, I've got some lion infantry, but they're coming from a different place. They're coming from Hyuga. I'm importing them from that village that I just took. Yeah, I'm having a look at some of the people you've got over here. Look at the rebels, they're coming. You, did you inspire that, or yeah, you inspired yeah. your yeah, you show. And then I'm gonna move in if the rebel once the rebels, because there's three factions there. Two I'm at war with. No, I'm not at war with uh, the people that own it. I'm gonna declare war once the rebels hit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then I've got my navy ready off the coast to bombard. So. Ah, that's right. My ally took over them. That's my my ally owns half. I own half. Oh, yes, that's right. So one day I might overthrow them, but I'm thinking about going for Awaji. Where, Awaji, talk to me. Ah, uh, yes, off the coast. Yes, no, that's probably a smart move, because then you can trap your ally in and get him... Call me crazy, but if he gets pissed off that he can't move, you then have a right to go to war with him. Yeah. Don't, but you know, be careful with him, though. Scout his lands, definitely. I will. I'm going to come around the bottom end of the island and then come up, because I don't want to discover these villages and let them know I'm on the prowl. Oh, yeah. No, I, I dig you, dog. Um, Is it bad if I need to pee? Um, no, go. Take, take your turn. Well, um, gentlemen, I'll be back. Yeah. Feel free. This is our natural recording environment, ladies and gentlemen. We're sitting here. we got the, the two PCs running, the rendering machine and the... N no. God damn it, Brody! <laughs> uh, no, but we're uh, sitting here recording, and it's it's fun. We're having a good time, but back to Shogun. And as you can see, my villages are kind of developed, but they don't have the military might that I'd like, and I don't have the economy to yet fund it. Now, let's have a look. My tax income, I earn $788. From trade, I earn $734. From other, I earn $1,337. I pay $1,500 in army upkeep and $700 in naval upkeep. Um, I guess... I guess taking Bungo will probably stimulate my economy to a point where I can get some bigger armies. So, um, next turn, we'll ha I'll, I'll tell you Brody's economy next turn, because we really should get that doing. I've, I've got my army there, not... a bit of a mixed bunch, these. There's enough here for... I don't want to say an invasion, but... a semi-invasion. Where... Moving up towards Bunga, one unit at a time. Diplomacy. Well, there's some ally. Let's see what we're researching. What was I researching? Oh yes, arms dealers. Is there? No. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's um. Let's, let's move on. Let's yeah. I've, I've done all my my bit bang bit jump. Turn over to. Snake dogs. A worthy bride 
greedy wise. Plus oh. ten to the upkeep costs of all units. Oh no. Plus one morale. Is he a general or a son or? A... Um, it's a good question. I'm pretty sure he's a yeah, son. Son. Well, if you're not using him in battle, yeah. But if he's wait, what's his name? I'll get him here. Uh, Yam Yamauchi Nabutsugi. No, he's in your attacking army. I wouldn't wa marry him before an invasion. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've actually been uh, learning a lot about the new show, uh, the, the show, the Shogun uh, eras, like the Fall of Samurai and the new one. I've been doing a lot of uh, schooling, actually. I'm using it as uh, as a reference to my. Um, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! God, fucking damn it! Are we bringing you? How, how's public order in IO? Yeah, it's meant to be nominal. They're going down, like, once the non-clan... Yeah, I'm not... You'll be good there. Um... Yeah, so... I've, I've, I've sort of made myself become more proficient in the naming, and the pronunciation, and all that sort of stuff. I'm learning about the clans and all that. Like, Tommy's clan actually gets wiped out really early on. <laughs> Let's pr but this so, is not historically this is, accurate. This is not historically accurate. Now do got not use this as reference material. <laughs> Please, do not use this as reference material. Uh, up at I Sanuki, you got a geisha. Let's um, let's have a geese around some of their settlements. Maybe even sneak her over to Awa preemptively via the land sea route. They've only got two units. I'll chuck her over to Awa. Have a look what they've got. So they've got the... Yeah, oh. What's in that army, can you see? How is How does that stop her? You saw it coming. They've got Sabre Cavalry, ladies and gentlemen. That's that army. Um, but Tom's looking at my screen if you don't know why he yeah. has them. Um, yeah. I've got getting produced now, they have a cadet school at uh, Awa. Not at Awa, Gia. At Awa. Which probably hints that they do have riflemen. I'm looking to see what sort of units I've got around. So I've got some... I've got a lot of line infantry. That's that's good early on. A nice line infantry line, followed by some spearmen. Melee would be a little uh, more welcome, but I don't have anything melee-wise apart yeah. from CAV, and I'm not willing to pay one, over a thousand dollars for one CAV unit. Just. And um, just on top of things here, we will be doing Rome 2 when it comes out, and this series will continue probably simultaneously with our Rome 1. Most likely. Most likely, because we all know how long these campaigns go. Alright, I'll end my turn, we'll see what the schmucks are going to be doing. Hello. The... what are these guys again? The who? Saga. The Saga. They're, they're moving armies out, there was... there's some hostile... The Saga are big, they've got... they start with a lot of good trade, because... They can trade with all Western powers, France, England, and America. Historically, that's where the Portuguese first landed. Sounds about right. Because they were tr they were trying to go to India, they found China, and the Chinese told them about them, and that was the first island when they came over. They thought, "Oh, hello, Saga, you know, oh yeah, these people are good, you know, because they got the first impression. They thought, oh yeah, tits off, you know, amazing. That's interesting. You're getting a history lesson here. I'll be giving you history lessons all day, every day. On this oh yeah, the oof, the rebels oof. just got right. done, and my Seth, hello, hold it was up. A costly lot. Win mm. William Willis. William Willis, <coughs> a British physician residing in Japan, seeks temporary employment and is offering his services as a medical officer. What does the medical breakthrough do? Um, two happiness across all provinces and 10% unit replenishment rate. That's it. Uh, for yeah, a thousand plus, bucks. Plus two, plus two across all provinces is enough as it is. Dick, yeah. And us, our foreign veterans being given an upgrade, I'll continue to have him... Just be a trainer, you know. Just get the boys. So the rebels, the rebels were absolutely slayed. <coughs> um, but it's giving me a bit of an insight into what was at their castle. They're saying veteranized line infantry. I think the, I'm importing hemp from you. you hold you up, hold up. Hemp? Yeah, no, it's um, it's tea. Oh, okay. Sorry, it's her. Okay. It's yeah. It's. Green, green tea. tea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
Around this time, there was a big opium conflict, and the, the Japanese didn't actually want to export any opium at all to the Western powers, and the Western powers got all pissed off because the Japanese had beautiful opium fields, and they, they weren't using it for the drug opium at the time, they were using it for the medical side, but, but the Japanese were just like, no, that's our opium. That's ours. Hmm. And that's why a lot of the more northern clans got in trouble for... They got, they got around the emperor and all that by saying, no, that's their fields, they're growing their own opium on our land, when really they were just letting them have roam at their own land, and that's when a lot of battles started, because they said, no, hang on a second, you gave us this land, we're allowed to do it whatever we want on it, and they're just like, well, well fuck. Yeah. I dig your dog. Well, I guess that's my turn. I'm on the development of arms dealers, which will hopefully get me a barracks, which will have sharpshooters and revolver cav, which are some nice special units, especially the sharpshooters. Where am I? I've, I've gotten that, and I'm moving on to the foreign units. Ah, uh, yes. Because I'm running the toaster riflemen soon, and that will be... We all know they're powerful. Yeah, the dicks would do. Okay, so Brody's bringing, uh, what are you bringing there? Cannons around, yep. Yeah. Can cannons are being produced. Ships are on the move. Oh yeah, bring him around. Nice and easy, like. Nice and easy, right? Nice and easy. You got some. Um, so two of your sons are in the attacking. Uh yeah yeah, my two sons yeah. Now you've also got a general. He's still. Getting his bit bang. Okay, let's get this um, geisha moving around. That's cool. It. The retainer you've got for him, reinforcements can be drawn in from further from afar. That general of yours is good. I like him. Something I about do, him. I do too. I do. Too. I def. I'm. I'm. I'm digging. I dig him, dog. Well, and I think the uh, amount of riflemen you have will de like once that we convert this pro sh uh, emperor all the way, and the pro shogun's gone. You'll have a lot more riflemen at your disposal. Oh yeah. Now, saying that though, respectively, Brody's costs are uh, making money is quite low due to the fact that his army's so large so early. So, invasion, although not an option, we might, you know, might seem a little greedy to fund our economy in this troubling time. We will have to yeah. invade and. I also have to expand my ports very soon because I've got a lot of copper. To, this, this is, I think, is the biggest copper mine in Let the map. Let me have a look. How much is it to upgrade her? It's three grand to upgrade her. It's at level one right now, so go figure. So I'm in exporting copper to three people. And it's minus five costs of modern units in that area. So yeah. that's... And like once I get... Let's have a look at the copper refinery. What does that do? Minus ten of the cost for modern units. Twenty extra, twenty tons. Plus two hundred wealth. Enables smelting mill or anode furnace. Do you want to get it up, okay, get it up um, to them? Yeah, what are we having a look here? So, we're having a look at what each one of them do. So we'll have a look at the anode furnace. Cost is 10 grand Ooh, to minus 15% cost of all the u modern units. Okay. To, um, clan effects. It minuses the cost of across all your provinces, though, by okay. five. Which is mill. pretty good. Yeah. What does the smelting mill do? It pretty much gives me the same, just more and more wealth. And, and it's a little cheaper. It's a little cheaper and it gives me more wealth. So and there's no dishappiness for modernization, so that's so probably... I think I'll be going that, because there's yeah. no need for minus 15 costs. We're not doing it on a timer here. We're not trying to, you know. Yeah. Um, substance farming. Yeah, <laughs> quote, unquote. How's your farms um, looking, by the way, with I've your... Um, I've got two substance farms, I'm pretty sure. No, I've got a substance farm and a tenant fields. Good. My farms, yeah. Mega soil on the substance farm there. And mega soil there, so not too good on the I soil. I think I've got mega soil. Yeah, I've got two mega soils. And I think I've got barren soil there, so it's just getting worse and worse. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll all end the turn and we'll go to the next... Yeah, the next, uh, what are we, we're coming into, what, what are we, we're coming, we're in autumn, so autumn, winter, winter, we're coming up to another winter. Which is bad, because I'm just about to launch an attack, that what? will be a very long siege, because, oh, yeah, I don't know what these, I, I'm going to have to check the diplomatic situation of what's going on here. Yeah, there's, na there's big hostile zone around this province known as Bungo. Probably, it's, it's a strategic point, 
because it's a gateway to my island. And it's probably one of the biggest trading ports on the... It may not look like much, ladies and gents, but it's got a main canal above Brody's Island up here, and it also gets around here. It's one of the, the stronger trading ports. And I'm assuming that the ones connecting the island are probably very strong because of their already great position, so no one's going to try and attack them just yet. All right, so let me... Who are these clan? The Komodo. The Komodo. Oh, geez, these guys have got some good warships. Look at this guy. He's already got the rank 5. Oh, yeah. So I think mine's still better than his. There's a few clans that are trying to crush. My sword for you, my lord. My sword for you, my lord. I'm moving into Bungo now. I've declared... War declared. I'm not going to call my allies for help for the sheer fact that... I'll come help you. That, uh, yeah, you, you don't, don't worry too much. I could probably just, like, get all these men over, come over and fuck Oof, them back. Okay, yeah. hold up. They're packing a little more than expected. So, we'll just besiege it. Because uh, we're not going to be taking them on the walls with those numbers. In no, the meantime... Really? Yeah. I guess I could... Send a few more levy up. Um, yeah, I'll send, sending two more squads of levy to reinforce. See. Yep. Yeah. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, our towns increase in size, so they'll increase in wealth. Yeah. So, like, now I'm earning an extra hundred per turn after the two turns. Like, they increase in wealth. See, uh, where is it? Uh... Well, some of my towns are losing some wealth due to the economy, but... Growth next season. It has to do with the buildings and the tax level. A yeah. lower tax will give you bigger growth. A higher tax will give you smaller growth. All yeah. buildings, you know, that are pro-growth, so like... Um... Ooh, hello. Um, there's not much I can really do here. I'm going to wait. If they come out, I probably will take them in combat. Um, and pray that my naval barrage is... On its game. Mission issued. Um, enchant any character. Should be easy. So I'm having a look at a uh, ye old gauge. Well, now, can you just get a look at that army? What what do they got in there? Mostly melee. Um, no, rumored melee and. Okay, we can confirm a general. Uh, it might be the Domo. Yeah, Domo. Yeah. <laughs> And there's, there's a sun and air, because I saw it through the geishas thing, so... Ooh! Yeah, this is a privately owned... Yep. Waji. What we got over here? We've got yep. the Dymo... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just get a little bit closer. Yep. Now, what have we got in that northern army of theirs? Ooh, they've been sacked. Well, it looks a little hit. And... They've, ooh, there's some line. Just I'll, some line. I'll be going there real soon, by the way. Everyone's got line infantry. I'm still pumping out the levy. Well, levy's better than nothing. Oh, touche. So, Kokos and Co. here can spare me three of his finest line. Yeah, and how's that cannon come along up the side? It's coming around, but I'm going to send him back because I'm going to uh, I'm going to yeah. rendezvous yeah. back down here. That's a fair, that's a fair army you've got there, that line infantry one. It's just yeah. a really solid army. Not Actually, I, I'm going to need melee though, that's my only problem. Yeah. So I... But you know what I mean, that's one of the armies you could just march up and just keep throwing men at. So yeah, you might want two of the, yeah. yeah there we go. Still a good army. I mean, that's 600 riflemen that, that'll yeah. probably do a lot more than what you'd think. Oh yeah. I think I've got a... I'm going to get another cannon under production in a second. I'm thinking about it. I'm not a hundred. Uh, another cannon would be good. But... Do I really want it? Well, I mean, if you've got two, it could work. But... How much is his upkeep? hundred. Yeah, see what... I mean... If you take Awaji... There is economy to be had, but it's not really much. It's just farming and trade trade ports. 
Let's build another one. We'll, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go, we won't go another cannon. But we might go... Uh, I mean, it is, it, there is a benefit to the, you know, you'll have four cannons then, due to yeah. the, f you know. It's coming. Alright. Because that, that could bust gates, bust walls, and do all the things that it needs to do. So, ladies and gentlemen, this will be a pretty slow episode. Yeah. Um, there hasn't been a battle yet, which is a bit more... Um, uh, 20 more. 20 more. Mm. Alrighty. Where are we? <laughs> I was making this weird face to solve He was freaking out. I didn't know where I was. I thought he was saying Ooh, Alien Claw. Here really, he was saying 20 more. Oh, dicks. Winter's here, and I'm inside enemy territory. Let's attack him, Tommy. Attack him. Oh, I can't. Oh, well. Wow. Attack him, because they're not going to run out of you. Well, hold up, I might have reinforcements from, uh, this fella. Yeah. Alright. Oh! I'll attack. attack! And I'll send this guy's army forward, and if they die, I'll just pull out, and we'll head back home until the wind is gone. Now, we do have the naval barrage, and it's my big bopper ship. Oh, yeah. So if they play this wrong, they'll pay for it with probably a few hundred casualties. Like? Um, decent, decent. I do have a lot of melee troops. I have a squad of Yari Samurai. Yari Samurai. The Battle of Funai, 1864. I like this castle. I feel that it'll make a good defensive hold once we take it. I'm being a bit overconfident. I reckon we're going to get to the lions. I'm trying to climb up in his hands, get stuck on the... It's so cold, his hands get... And he rips... And the guy blows, pushing him, and, and he rips, rips his palm rips. off? Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. Yeah. This thing here, did you see that? Yeah, I'm seeing it. It's, it's right under. I know the feeling. I know the feeling. Alrighty. What is your end? Where are we now? You're getting reinforced from the rear. Alright. So, I guess I'll just have my lines just kind of flattened. I'll maybe put this mother. Remember, dude, this castle. These ones can be flanked from the rear. Wait, no, they fixed it. Never mind. We'll just you see. Can, you can run around. Just sir. see where that goes. Now my cannons can hit. Um, I'm going to target there. They've got saber cav. They've got levy. More saber cav. The general's moving. Levy line. Garrison line. 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 They don't actually have that much when it comes to manpower because you take away the general and the two saber cav, and you're already outnumbered. And you've yeah. got this re. Do you get to control the reinforcements here? No, no, they're AI. They'll come up. I, uh, I'm not phased by their movements really. Can they oof. turn on you? No, they're allied. Oh, I think they can, but I've got faith that they won't. I pray they won't. So you looking at this guy? Hold up. Go and go up here. Let me get a gaze on it. Let's see where we're launching. Oh, good hits. Good hits. Oh, yeah. Take him down 50. That thing crumbles. Yeah, it'll throw that hole. Watch him reload it, then. I'll actually do um. Oh, hello, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Sorry about that. You've missed them exploding because I hit insert and uh oh fuck. <laughs> don't worry well anyway what happened is uh these guys it all exploded because we i'll show you it again here we'll call in a naval barrage not hitting insert again that's for sure um One of your units can no yeah. longer fire, i'm out of cannons so i'm gonna fire it oh yeah there you go 
you go. There it is, ladies and gents. That's what you missed before, but just up there. We're shattering their walls with cannons. And I was just, uh, before I hit that button, I was just lipping off about uh, how people say wooden cannons aren't good, but they really are effective against walls. And here we go. The naval barrage has been ordered. You might see my ships out at sea there. Here. The men don't seem to be moving. Yeah, we'll wait. Yeah, no, drums are going, drums are going. They're legging it. Yeah, oh! Yeah, it's knocking men off the walls. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that whole squad! Oof! Ladies and gentlemen, you're seeing some nasty, nasty. Yeah. yeah. Fucking say we have. I don't know what they're doing. They're I think the next one will be here, dude. On this sort of frontal. Because yeah. that'll give my AI time to push over. I'll tell them to push left because there's no one holding that now. Oh, the line's coming outside. I don't know if they're routing. No, they wouldn't be routing. But I'd say start pushing left because that's their weakest side. And if you push left, yeah. get into the castle, you're already above them. No, I get you, I get you. That's only Cav, so what are they really going to do? Alright, ready, we'll um, get these guys moving as one. Tell the AI to attack. Yeah. Um, I'll give it the order. I'll tell him to hit the main bulk of the army. Yeah. He's coming up, he's got just a dick ton of melee. Levy. You're through the, yeah, you're going through the forest too, it's fucking... Yeah. They all, they're all very hidden, they're all sneaking. And again, it's pretty hard to sneak the white fucking banners, isn't it? There's a lot of them. They're coming up through the houses. It's all coming up mill. Oh yeah. Now they did bring that line out, so I don't know what the plan really is there. Might be to just hold. But why they wouldn't hold the top of the fucking gates beyond them. They probably have had bad experiences with them. <laughs> you know, yeah. fuck it, I've seen what happened. Yeah. But I am not going back there. No, no, you couldn't pay me enough. Now I can use the next naval on that right side of theirs to shatter it, or... Use an area on that right side, dude. But around the gate, I like, sort of put it in the middle there. Yeah. How big's the area? For well, I'll show you. I got 23 like shots per volley. Okay, ready? While my army moves in the reinforcements muster. Yeah. See right that? there? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if we can see my ships out at sea. Oh, it's a bit snowy, a bit foggy. I'm gonna go out and have a look. Trying to see them. No, I don't have donkey tanks No, I on. can't see them. Back oh, to yeah, the... Yeah, I do, yeah, I do. They're out to the far right. Alright, um, I'll have a gaze in a second. Can you actually see him firing in? Here come the shots, here come the shots! Bad hit, oh, some some decent hits. Not really on anyone, it's kind of just more around them. It's scaring them, yeah, now we're starting to peel a few off. Wasn't yeah. a bad volley. No, look at them. Look, they're, they're not really... It's going to definitely shock morale a little. Oh, and here the rest comes. That was good. It was a good little brush. It hit their walls too, so that's also going to piss them off. Also, apparently yep. they don't, nobody owns that archer carrot in the back. Or I'll, um, I'll double fast forward. My AI, look at them, they're coming across in drips and drabs like ants. They're not in any formation. Like, you go, go from the wall, imagine you're staring at this coming at you. There's no structure to them. You don't know where to fire, where not to fire. Yep. You wouldn't want to know where to fire. Okay, you're about to come into range of the men on the right there. The ones out front of the wall. Yep. I'll have my, uh... Yeah, they're charging at you. Hello? What the fuck's this? They're running at you, dude. My men are retarded, I'm telling you. Yeah, we've been hitting the flank. Oh, there's some evisceration. 
dude, you're getting slaughtered. Yeah, no, I'm pulling out. Oh, let the AI take him. Yeah. They just run the cabin door. AI's coming up. Yes, I do the head all year. Up the main <coughs> area. You see this Hans here, ladies and gentlemen? He's falling behind. Their ranks are just absolutely abolished. And they're being sh fired at from even down there. <coughs> My army's in a bit of drips and drabs itself. I'm reforming it outside the, the walls. You're gonna have to get the men to run in there. Yeah. Ready? When they hit, when they hit that wall, it'll give me complete time to get up and in and in behind this sort of uh, line infantry region up here. I'm feeling it. You know, I got a, I got a lot of men. Like I've got some good men. Fast forward this a little. This is getting yep. the oh, they're retreating back to the center keep. I think the general's like it. Not the saber cap is like it. Yeah, so are some of their other men. They don't want to completely. The four men still on the wall think you know, they, they've got shells right there. The know spear where. levy are coming up and over the wall and into a into a bit of a death zone. Heads up, I think you got saber Oof. cabs coming your way. Now they're going to hold the courtyard. Uh, they Do you have any Yari? Yeah, they Send just... Send them in first. They know. Yeah, look, look at them coming over the wall like ants. Just pushing over. Just World War Z style, dude. You know what I mean? Have you seen the tra... I haven't seen the movie. Yeah, the but, movie's alright. You know, the trailers where they're piling up. The same pile, so I don't exactly know who in it on the wall. Yeah. But I'm assuming they have, because the morale's gone straight yeah. down. Thanks to that naval barrage. Probably shocked to hear them as well. Yeah, and look, it's destroyed the wall up here, so they'll get straight in. Okay, now we're going to burn down the gate, run in, cap the tower. Why would you send the... They, they've they left all their Sabre Cav here. The fools. Now well, they're moving them. Now the general's to your left there. Dude, um, I yep. got the general there. Oh, I'll go for him. I'm lighting the gate on fire. It's been a little hard since it is winter. Take a while to get the ambers gone. Oh, yeah, I think she's on fire. She's changed colour. You've thought you've yeah. Now yeah, she's starting to burn. I should get more cannons. They're really nice, especially you know that's one wooden cannon, and it took out the equivalent of two. Okay, yeah, your allies are really pushing over now. Have a yeah, look excellent. At ants, my friend, ants. Get your line infantry ready to rush in and form a line. My men are tossing their fire. Okay, it's burnt. Okay, we're gonna hold the upper. We're pushing. We're just mixing and matching. Yari and Levy. We'll get in, we'll take the, the tower and hold the point. Here they come, they're coming down at us. Tell me, do they have a wall formation or wall? No. I oh! They're, they're gonna be but yeah, they're being butchered. My men are way too Tell them to push, push. Yep. I've been given the order to go straight through. Yeah, people are starting to smosh around them. Yeah, and then we'll kill the the rest. Yeah, tell them to just kill, yeah. yeah. And here comes the general. Hey, quick form a line because his men will actually help. I mean hurt. Tell them just to form, 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 get tight, get tight, get tight, get tight, get tight. Yeah, I've called the rapid advance. We'll move in there doing the... Yep. Oh, Oof, I'm Oof. seeing horses at the back getting bulled over. Yep. Men getting stabbed. Yeah, it's quick. Tell your other infantry to go around the back so they can't just retreat out there. Get them around, get them around, get them around. And the other guys have pushed up to the keep almost. They've almost lost most of their men. Okay, tell your line to get in there because we don't want any fucking... Oh, yeah. but we took the keep. No. Yeah. No, that's not. That won't. No, be. that general get away. He's trying to get away. The general's running. He's, he's going back. I've got my men doing the rapid advance. Ah! Don't you worry. Okay, we've taken the tower. Yeah, they're sending men down here. They're sending levy. Quick charge that levy. So don't let them fall. 
Yeah, we're coming up at him. We're gonna light these towers on fire as well. Shooting the fire arrows at the general. Oh, dick yeah. I'm not letting him get away. Oh, the general's doing the loop de loop. Are they routing? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, they've been killed. Most of them have been caught. Hey, rush into the cave, Tommy. Yeah, I'm watching them. Watch this guy. Yeah, they're being butchered. Okay, break down that door. Yeah, they, they've used another saber cab into a spear line. My spears have got them held. Oh! He's getting their horses on their backs. Tell them to push through. Don't let the horses surround them. Oh, yeah. No, they, they've got the formation. We're getting in there. Oh! My guns are starting to unload. Volleys are coming in real much. You got a nice range on those ladies. I mean, those line. But you have, you do have line. Yeah, yeah. I've got most. Uh, I got a few line here. My melee will be ready to charge over the gate once it's deflamed. And uh, my ant, my ant allies are charging the keep now. Yeah, they're handling the men over to the right. Okay. I managed to keep... Bus, there you go. Yep. I kept structure and formation through the whole thing, though. Here we go, their general's running! Oh, no, it's Sabre Cav. Oh, he was shot. Oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> My okay, get in there, leg it in, dude. Send everyone in. Yeah, no, it'll be, it'll be nasty, but... Make lines on the inside, it'll be beautiful. I'll get the big lines going. You haven't lost many men. No, no. Be uh, a few melee, maybe a rifleman or two. Like, you've lost about 50 melee. All I really played this conservatively and efficiently. Just watch out on your right, dude. you got those four infantry that are still bugging out. Get your right side line to just... They're, um, they're engaging their levy with uh, their levy, so I'm going to form their, the lines and their just... Their line's trying to pick you off the four left on the wall. Where? Where's this? The four guys left on the wall. Two guys left. Oh yeah, I see him, I see him. Tell him to just... Yeah. Halloween. Hold up. No, they're running. Look at them, look at them, bing and bonger out of here. They're legging it. Yeah, you wouldn't want to be here, it's quite a... nasty environment. My lines are forming. We will fire into our allies' backs due to the fact that... They retired and have no structure. We didn't know. We told yeah. them. Okay, tell them to get ready to fire as they come around that corner. Yeah, they're setting up. They're setting up. Tell them to fire. Give them the order. Yep. Fire! Fire! Yeah, here they go. Oh! Yeah. Get one of your melee to come around and run into them. Yeah, rapid advance straight into him. Oh, that looks deadly coming through the other line. Look, the one guy at the front. Yeah. yeah that Close. Was Close. Close is what we call one man left, and he <laughs> takes the rest of the castle. That. We've, We've done, done that. that. We've done that. I've got it on record, yeah. remember? Oh. Yeah. Fuzzy Navels. Yeah. That was good. Nice little attack, actually. Yeah, we've got the crafting. The, 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 yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. The twirly, twirly. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> now my uh, not my ally, but the guy that helped me, he suffered severe casualties. He lost almost fifty percent on all the levy. Fucking hell. Now we'll peacefully occupy it. We don't want any trouble now. No, uh, just just repair the stuff. Now. Yeah, and my money, my economy's back to making a grand per per turn, so... It's nice, yes. And they've got the copper refinery as well. That'll be expensive oh, to repair. Oh, dick, yeah. How much is that to... Two grand to repair. Three grand, almost. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's f coming up to 40 minutes on the dot. Well, probably about 30-something due to the fact that I accidentally hit a stupid fucking button that shouldn't exist. Um, but it's nice to have you here. We'll, uh... We'll see you next episode. See you next episode.